Hi Tech Enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we delve into the latest and greatest in tech innovations. Today, we are tackling a hot topic in the world of civilian system, PoE and VR versus NVR with an external PoE switch. So which one is right for your setup? Stick around as we break down the pros and cons of each and help you make an informed decision. And if you're unsure about which setup is right for your civilian system, we've got great news for you. We're offering free tech consultation to help you make the best choice for your needs. Whether you need advice on purchasing, installations, or optimizing your current setup, our experts are here to help. First off, let's define what a PoE and VR is. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet, and an NVR is a network video recorder. A PoE NVR combines these functionalities, allowing you to connect your IP cameras directly to the NVR using Ethernet cables that carry both data and power. This means you only need one device to purchase and install, making the setup process simpler and more streamlined. But is the PoE and VR the best option for your civilian needs? Let's delve into the advantages. Firstly, simplicity. With the PoE and VR, you have an all-in-one solution, which means fewer devices to worry about. This makes installation a breeze, especially for those who might not be attack savvy. Secondly, it's a cost-effective. Generally, a PoE and VR is less expensive than buying a separate NVR and a PoE switch, and this can be a major factor if you are working within a tight budget. However, a PoE and VRs aren't without their drawbacks, so let's talk about stability. The design of the motherboard in a PoE and VR integrates both data processing and power distribution functionalities. It includes components for video recording, network interfacing, and PoE power management within one single board. And this dual wall design can lead to potential stability issues because the motherboard must handle both data intensive tasks and power delivery simultaneously, which can create heat buildup and stress on the components. Then there's the issue of power. Different PoE standards provide varying power levels. While a PoE NVR may not support high power PoE, an external PoE switch can reach up to 90 watts. And this is essential if you're running cameras that require more power. Then we have the lack of flexibility. Now, PoE and VR system primarily stem from the requirement that all cameras must connect directly to the PoE and VR itself. And some PoE and VR are designed with virtual local area network, that's the VLAN support, which isolates the camera network from the rest of the local network. While VLANs can enhance security and manageability by segregating camera traffic, they can also contribute to inflexibility because the LAN port on this NVR often does not support general network connections. This means that the NVR is primarily focused on managing direct camera feed and might not easily integrate with other network devices or external network infrastructure. And this design can make it challenging to expand the system or integrate additional network component without significant reconfiguration. For example, if you're installing new cameras on second floor, now you have to pull the cables all the way from second floor to your first floor where your PoE and VR is, instead of just adding another switch and connect them to the network. And lastly, bandwidth management. Now, PoE and VR typically have fewer and less advanced networking components compared to a standalone PoE switch, because the primary focus of a PoE and VR is to efficiently manage video recording and playback, which can leave less processing power and memory available for sophisticated bandwidth management tasks. So now, 
let's shift gear and talk about the NVR with an external PoE switch. Now, one major drawback is the additional investment. Purchasing a separate PoE switch increases the initial investment, and you will need to factor in the cost of both the NVR and the PoE switch. But the advantages can outweigh this initial cost. An external PoE switch provides better system management and allowing you to have more control over your network and connected devices. And it's also more flexible and robust. You can easily scale your system by adding more switches and cameras without overloading a single device. Plus, with better power and data management, your surveillance system can handle more intensive tasks efficiently. So a dedicated PoE switch is specifically designed to manage power distribution and network traffic with robust components optimized for stability and high performance. And this means an external PoE switch can offer better reliability and manage higher power low and data traffic more effectively than the integrated push of a PoE and VR, reducing the risk of system failures and ensuring more consistent performance. So now let's get hands on. Here's a quick operational guide on setting up both the PoE and VR and an NVR with the PoE switch. First, let's connect to the PoE and VR. It's pretty simple. The PoE and VR is already powered up and connected to the monitor using the HDMI cable. All we need to do is use an Ethernet cable, plug it into one of the PoE port and connect directly to our bullet camera. So as you can see, it is receiving power and data from this single Ethernet cable. And our bullet camera should be on shortly. If not, you can plug in the mouse and search for it. Oh, looks like I don't need to. So now you can see a live video feed from this bullet camera using the PoE and VR. And next, let's do a quick setup using our NVR with the PoE switch. So on this side, everything is also powered up. I'm going to plug in the same HDMI cable from the monitor. The power supply is on. And then use this Ethernet cable to connect our PoE switch to our bullet camera. And of course, don't forget to use a short patch cord to connect the switch to our NVR. Make sure everything is plugged in. Next, we just have to wait for the video feed to be displaying on our monitor. Of course, we can plug in the mouse and search for it. Just go to the channel setting and wait for the configuration. So, okay, looks like we are connected. And again, we have a live video from our NVR and the PoE switch. And there you have it. Two different approaches to setting up your surveillance system, and each has its pros and cons. But with this information, now you can choose the setup that best fit your needs and budgets. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and reviews. And let us know in the comment section which setup you prefer for your surveillance system and why. And I'll see you next time on Fast Cabling.